TV. Today we are going to be reviewing the Ampama Moco Moco Pancake Yesum. It's a pancake maker that also makes a hamburger. On the front, it um shows um the whole set and some stuff you can make with it. And the three easy steps for the big thing. This is the upper part where you open it. It shows a bunch of different recipes that you can do. Like a fruit sundae, a lunch box, even a tart. You can even do a fruit burger. You can even do pretzel sticks. And this is how to make your ampamans look like that. The bottom side is basically the same thing. On this side, this is the stuff that comes with the set. This is all the stuff that comes into the set that will help you make pancakes. Is um this is um a bunch of recipes you can make, like a bento box, a burger, a yatsuko koa, a fruit thing, a uh, pretzel sticks, and a choco banana tato. Now, we are going to make some pancakes with this set today. Now we are going to be making some matcha pancakes. If you don't know what matcha means, it means green tea. We're going to pour in the pancake batter, the green tea powder, and the water. Now we are going to put on the lid actually kind of hard to put on. You know, you know. And mix it. Oh. <laughs> Funny. I just knocked this on, I just knocked this on, I just knocked this on. <laughs> Sorry, my cat. It's just kind of hard to actually put on unless you put them on the right way. Now I have some leftover flour. Hey, I can mix it. I'll, I'll mix it. I'll mix it. And now we are going to mix it. It looks greenish because it's green tea. And green tea is green. When the pancakes come out, the green tea pancakes come out, they'll probably look a greenish color. Now that our green tea batter is mixed, we are going to pour it in the big pan. You need to oil the pan you are using. The pans are already oiled. We are going to pour the batter. We have to take the top off first. And then we pour the batter into the big pan. And you fill it up to the line.
caution. At the end, they are hot, so don't hold them. So you have to, and don't hold them, so you have to tip them. So King John is stuck. I'm going to sprinkle some matcha powder on these two. I'm on all these three. Oh, hot! That King John is piping hot and ready to be eaten. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of matcha powder on here to make it more matcha flavor. Now we are going to take the big one out. I just took the big one out and it's piping hot and it looks delicious. But it's hot. It's hot. If you're a kid, ask it a be careful with an adult if the, because the pancakes are hot at the end. Now we're going to sprinkle some powdered sugar on our pumpkin. This thing doesn't really work. <laughs> you just have to tap it. Or we can just sprinkle it. <laughs> now I have sprinkled a lot of powdered sugar on on pump on it. It's time to see the reveal. Wow, Sudeki! I'm gonna I'm gonna pour the excess powdered sugar on these guys with the matcha powder. Hmm. Sugar. Sugar and hot. <laughs> now we're going to make the next batch. The next batch will be the faces. It's the pan we are using. It has the different faces of um, Pummon superheroes. I'm going to pour in the pancake flour and out of the water. And I'm going to pour in the seasoning. It's going to be chocolate caramel. I don't know what kind of kids like chocolate caramel, but if you do like chocolate caramel, this is something good to make. I'm going to add some chocolate caramel popcorn seasoning into it. And it's from the brand Colonel Seasons. Colonel Seasons, um, when I was at the movie theater once, the cinema gave me their white cheddar flavored popcorn um, seasoning. To take home. Okay, put a lot of it, and now it's time to mix it up. Which it's very crappy, and I put it and I snapped it into the right place. I'm mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, mixing. Keep mixing and mixing and mixing. Here's a big batch of flour and stuff. Now that we have mixed our ch chocolate batter and it really tastes crappy, <laughs> we are going to pour it into the faces mold. There's a little bit of green tea stuck on there. And it is okay. Melon Pond. Melon Pond's the best. I really love Melon Pond. Melon Pond is my favorite superhero. And Pama is my second favorite. Now that we have um, poured in all our molds, we are going to put them in the microwave for 80 seconds. Yum, yum. But we have extra chocolate batter. What can we do with this? Ready, steady.
which 80 seconds is a minute and 20 seconds. And 100 seconds is basically is a minute and 40 seconds. We put them in for a minute. It still works though. They still come out piping hot and ready. Piping hot and ready. I poured some pow I'm going to pour some powdered sugar and chocolate caramel seasoning onto the chocolate onto the chocolate ones. And this one I'm going to use for a chocolate caramel seasoning. That's our matches. <laughs> Our matches look good, piping hot too, but they're cooling down. Need to wash this off. We're going to wash this and pump my thing off while it's in the microwave. Maybe, can we do that? Can we even do that? Now that it's going to be washed, um, we're going to wait for them to be finished. Now that our um, pump on thing is washed and they're already out of the microwave, we are going to pour some chocolate caramel seasoning on this. Yeah, powdered sugar is good. Yum yum. Um, um. Cree Pump Mon came out. <laughs> and he's half green tea cake. <laughs> Not half, really, but a tiny bit. Wafoof. Now we're going to sprinkle some powdered sugar on these guys. Yum yum. Powdered sugar is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> 